A new generation of leaders from Singapore and China is setting the tone for cooperation after bilateral ties were upgraded earlier in 2023, with visiting Singapore Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong anticipating a fruitful outcome from this week's top-level meeting. Chinese Premier Li Chang, meanwhile, said that China stands ready to work with Singapore to pursue even more ambitious goals. Both men made their remarks at the start of DPM Wong's courtesy call on Mr. Li in Beijing on December 6, their second meeting in 2023. After DPM Wong's visit to China in May, for over an hour in a closed door meeting, they discussed opportunities for bilateral cooperation on the digital economy, renewable and clean energy. And other emerging areas, the Prime Minister's Office PMO of Singapore said after the meeting. Both sides also exchanged views on regional and global developments and reaffirmed the importance of maintaining an open, inclusive and rules-based regional architecture. At the meeting, DPM Wong noted that the Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation GCBC will be convening for the first time on December 7 since bilateral ties between China and Singapore were upgraded to a high-quality partnership in April. It will be the first GCBC between our two countries since we upgraded our relationship to an all-round, high-quality, future-oriented partnership and also the first JCBC for co-chairs Vice Premier Ding Xuexiong and myself, said DPM Wang, who is also Finance Minister. Noting that bilateral ties are in excellent order, he said, I think we will have a very fruitful meeting because we are covering many topics and in fact many ministries in Singapore are represented. In its 19th edition, the JCBC is the top-level platform for both governments to discuss collaboration projects. Seven ministries will be represented at the meeting on December 7. DPM Wong said, adding that both countries will be signing more than 20 agreements that day. Also, it's significant that we are having the meeting in Tianjin, where we are marking the 15th anniversary of the Tianjin Ecocity and charting the way forward for Tianjin for its next phase of low-carbon growth. The Sino-Singapore Tianjin Ecocity TEC is the second of three government-to-government -government GTG projects and focuses on promoting sustainability in green development. This is DPM Wong's first visit to China since it was announced that he will lead the People's Action Party in the next general election. Taking over the reins from Prime Minister Li Xinlong by November 2024 ahead of the polls. Mr. Li and Mr. Ding were elevated to their current positions in March 2023. After the JCBC, DPM Wong and Mr. Ding will co chair the Joint Steering Committee meetings of the three flagship GTG projects, the TEC. China Singapore Suzhou Industrial Park and China Singapore Chongqing Demonstration Initiative on Strategic Connectivity. These meetings are intended to take stock of progress and set the direction for further collaboration. Mr. Li said Beijing attaches great importance to DPM Wang's visit, with numerous members of the Chinese leadership meeting him to discuss areas of shared interest. He noted that 2023 has been a significant year for bilateral ties, with increased cooperation and exchanges on all levels becoming closer and more efficient. All this demonstrates the strong vitality and great potential of this relationship. Mr. Li added. In a separate meeting in Beijing on December 6, Mr. Wong met Vice Premier He Lifeng, who oversees economic and financial issues. I thought it'd be useful to have a conversation about what more we can do to advance our economic and financial cooperation. And I look forward to our conversation, DPM Wong said in his opening remarks. Mr. He, who said he had been involved in several iterations of the JCBC, noted that China and Singapore have maintained a good momentum since upgrading their bilateral relationship.
And all that remains now is to turn the agreements reached between Chinese President Xi Jinping and PM Li into reality. The vice premier added that he had invited members of China's financial sector to the meeting with DPM Wang, including Central Bank Governor Pang Gongsheng, China Securities Regulatory Commission Chairman Yi Huiman, Central Financial and Economic Affairs Commission Deputy Director Yang Inkai and Assistant Foreign Minister Nong Rong. DPM Wang and Mr. He welcomed the positive growth in economic and trade links between Singapore and China and discussed ways to further broaden and deepen the scope of bilateral cooperation. Including in the financial sector, the PMO said. This will benefit companies in both countries, strengthen our respective economies, and deepen trade and financial flows between China and Singapore and the wider region. It added. Also at the meetings were Minister for Trade and Industry Gon Kim Yong, Minister for Education Chan Chan Singh, Minister for National Development Desmond Lee, Acting Minister for Transport Chi Hong Tat, and Senior Ministers of State Amy Kaur and Sim An.